All right, I wanted to give you guys a real world example of this gear 360 uh, from Samsung, the 2017 version, and my experience with it. And I loved it. Um, I went to Iceland and I wanted to show you guys some of the uh, pictures and videos that I took. So if we just kind of jump in here. So here's a video that I took. And what I'll show you is you can you can do some editing from this, but it 360 editing is a little tricky. But anyway, so here's the view. This is kind of the standard view right here. And I can turn around in any angle as we go out to see the glacier, which is really cool. So on top of that, from here, I actually have different types of views. It has this what's called round view or what I would call like a tiny world view which would look something like this and you could do different angles which play so it looks kind of funny kind of like tiny world and then what you could do is you can save that as a standard video and it will save exactly the version that you however you queue it up whichever way you want to see it here's stretched view however you save it is how it will be saved here's dual view so that's giving you both cameras and I can save that and I can upload that and share it. So it gives you a lot of power and then here's the panorama view. So that's the entire that's the entire shot right there. So it gives you a lot of uh, possibilities. On top of it I can take any particular view like this if I wanted and I can save it as a picture capture frame and if I capture that frame it it captures that as a gif picture so it just very nice because you don't have to worry so much when you're filming or look through an eye hole or something like that with other cameras here is a picture now this is a static picture. With this there aren't as many options. Well actually I guess you have the same options. But uh, what was I going to tell you? Save as a standard picture. And then view on VR gear. So the other thing I would say is I do have the uh, 360 headset which I could go grab. But um, it's really cool to have, to be able to put on, here you keep watching that. Let me go grab it. You're not going to be able to see. Those are my guinea pigs. My daughter's guinea pigs. Guys, we'll feed you in a sec. So, when you when you put the phone in here and you look at the 3D picture, it's like you're dropped in that picture. You can look anywhere you want in 360. So, it really does work well. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the VR. I think it's a bit gimmicky. But if you kind of want to show somebody your pictures and a glacier and stuff like that, you can drop them in the middle of it. The one thing I will say is with video, if the video isn't exactly like stuck to something and static, it's a little queasy. It's a, a bit of a queasy experience. But um, but yeah, so the pictures in general, they turned out really well. Like here's one. And these are the people on the boat. I, I know, I've got my family on there and some other people. But, um, yeah, oh, there we go. That's beautiful. See, there's the really blue chunk that fell off the glacier. Um, and then, so you've got a moment like this. There's more video. It's a lot of glacier stuff. Um, I, I took some videos inside the car. I thought that'd be kind of interesting, just kind of remind yeah, us what it was like. On the moon. I can't explain. <laughs> so there you can see what it was like. How there's nothing around, but you're inside our car right now. While, while we're tooling around. There's my hat. So, it's just a lot of fun. You've got a lot of uh, possibilities. There's some... Here's this. You see these all over the place. Look at that huge monolithic... It's like Monument Valley all over the place there. But again, I just you're able to just capture everything around you. I know I'm sounding repetitive, but it's just so it's so cool. Um, I, that's one of their things. That's not that didn't come with mine. Uh, what else do we have here? 
but uh, but you get the point. I was just very impressed by it, very happy. Like here's a 360 pick that I took, um, and then I extracted one frame. So this is one frame of that, and so you're able to set it down, and it's kind of like you can do a, a selfie with your family, and then not worry about where the picture direction is. So I really enjoyed that part of it. Yeah, in fact, I believe this was that. So here's the 360 that I took. And then what I did in there, you can actually see everything. Like it is literally 360. So then what I do is I go up there, boom, save it as a picture. And now I've got that picture. I don't have to worry about like, is it in frame or any of that? Just super, super impressive. So um, give it a big thumbs up. This technology is going to get better. The quality when live streaming probably is not as strong as I'd like it to be. But, um, yeah, here's just me going for, this was in uh, Kevlovic Airport. As I'm going up, you actually had to walk up. The gate was not, um, this particular plane did not have a gate. So you just did it old school. So, um, yeah, really enjoy it. I can't wait for newer versions of this. I know that the... Um, who is it? The GoPro guys just released a brand new one just before my trip. Uh, so I don't know how that one is and how it compares. But I really would love to see more in the way of live streaming and high quality, um, you know, qual quality streaming on top of it. Because I, I really do think that puts people in the moment without having to worrying about editing and things like that. I just, it takes so much energy and effort to edit. And uh, in a busy schedule, I just don't have the, the luxury of doing that. So anyway, hope you guys found this informative. It does work well with the VR. Obviously, I can't show you really how that works. It's too tricky. Um, then uh, this gear box, and I can't show you the camera because I'm actually filming with it. So there you go. All right, hope you guys uh, enjoy this uh, real-world Icelandic trip that I went on. And uh, remember to subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. And I'll talk to you all later. All right, see you. Bye.